As part of my work with Airminer's Launchpad, I've been working one-on-one -on -one with really passionate founding teams. Uh, I've also been venturing out into the, into the broader world outside of the carbon removal community. I've been talking to people like venture capitalists and investors to understand kind of how they see the, the teams and the companies that are getting started uh, in carbon removal. And I've learned a ton. One of the biggest lessons that I've taken away from this is the power of uh, the community. The power of the carbon removal community is incredible. And I actually forgot that as I was starting to have some of these conversations with people who aren't as familiar with uh, carbon removal. Uh, and so in, in this in a specific conversation I'm thinking of, I went in, I was looking for some help with some, some calculations. Didn't start out though with, with why. Didn't start out with why the heck are we doing this? Why do we care about these invisible molecules of carbon dioxide? And because of that, I got a bunch of advice that just wasn't very useful. It was kind of advice towards a maybe that was more useful towards a different goal, but not towards gigaton scale carbon removal. And you know that speaks to the benefit of having a community. And that's why it's great to be part of, of air miners, being able to kind of have that shorthand. You know, like when I hop onto a launch pad uh, interview and I'm like, okay, we've got 15 minutes. What is it you need to do in the next month? The reason I can do that now that I now I've realized this, the reason I can do this is because there's all this community context around there's too much carbon in the atmosphere. We have to figure out how to take it out. We don't have the solutions at all to do it. It's going to be a giant trillion dollar market in the near future, but it's totally not right now. All that context, shorthand for that is I'm an air miner. And what's so cool about that is I just I don't need to have all these all these setup conversations. And it's it's really empowering to be able to talk to a, uh, somebody in, in airliners, talk to a scientist, an entrepreneur, uh, an engineer, a designer, and just to have all that context already said. This is something that comes up in, in airminers events all the time. Uh, sometimes people are new to airminers and they're like, well, should we should we do the slides at the beginning that are about like the climate is changing? <laughs> <laughs> and there's too much carbon in the air and we're just always like no like screw those slides like get there's there's no there, there's other places to get an on-ramp like air miners boot up which is a terrific way to get up to speed but at a certain point we're just you know we're all here because we already get all that context and so it's this warm fuzzy feeling of being within a community focused on uh, one particular problem the opportunity is as carbon removal as an industry and as a community grows, we need to continue being able to talk about and being able to, to connect with people talking about why this is important. It, it is key to be able to start there and to say there is too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There is going to be a big market. It's not here yet. We're building towards that. That type of context, it seems like it gets missed in so many other places parts of life. We leave our goal as kind of unsaid or implied. We clash when somebody seems to have different values than us, but we don't actually talk about what our values are. So I want to get better at this. I want to get better at appreciating that this is something that I have so valued from all the other air miners uh, that I get to get to be around uh, and be able to put words to it. And I also want to be able to, to have better awareness of that talking to people who aren't in carbon removal. Being able to start with why. Being able to talk about a goal for gigaton scale carbon removal. Why that needs to happen and, and then how we're going to get there. But ultimately needing to start those conversations with why this matters before diving into the how. If we go straight to how without all that context, we're going we're gonna to go way off course and we're not going to get somewhere that's, that's useful. So really excited to be bringing together these two things better awareness on the, on the community side of just how darn valuable it is to have all this context baked into what we do, to be able to interview teams and just be like, okay, let's get right to it. At the same time, how do we grow that? How do we continue to, to share that why and talk about that why and improve that uh, so that we can, we can work with others, so we can bring in others, so we can uh, get other people to, to help us on this uh, on this goal. That's why I wanted to share about that. I'm curious if, if other people are seeing this. Maybe this is clear to you all along is that you know the, the benefit of the air miners community uh, and, and the challenge of talking with people outside of carbon removal but for what it's worth you know a lot of this for me is is emerging now because i haven't been much of a, a, a debater i haven't gone out and defended the cause of carbon removal or really even 
the changing climate. I mean, I just, I kind of have said, I've made these decisions for myself and then just kind of ended up around some really incredible people who have similar beliefs. And so it's an opportunity for me to, to step back from that and to think about, yeah, how does the rest of the world see carbon removal? How does the rest of the world see the, the changing climate? What is this big wave that we're riding on? And how do we talk about that? How do we tell those stories? So curious to hear how other folks are thinking about uh, the Air Miners community, about this growing network of people that are working on carbon removal uh, and, and your conversations with people that aren't as familiar with carbon removal.